do you need to collect submissions but the place where you're collecting submissions either has spotty or no internet connection well let me show you how you can still collect data with offline forms Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for offline forms. Now, whether you are at a trade show or out in the field with absolutely zero internet, the great thing about JotForm offline forms is you can still collect all of that data and even review and edit without having internet access. Now, the best way to do that is through a mobile device, but before we jump over there, if you have any questions, be sure to leave it down below in the comments or come back to this features landing page to get all of your questions answered. So let's go ahead and jump over to my phone. Now, as you can see, we are currently in my JotForm app on my phone. And the first thing we want to do is we want to choose which forms we want to have access offline. So I'm gonna go up to the top right-hand corner. We're gonna choose that gear icon. And the very first one is offline forms. And unless the form is disabled or potentially has a field that isn't supported in offline, it should automatically be on. So just for example, my Black Friday form, that one is disabled. And then the one that has the form with the little cloud with the line through it, that one has CAPTCHA on it. So if I go ahead and click on that one, we can see, sorry, this form cannot be filled out because of the following fields. It's because of the CAPTCHA. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, but we can see that very first one, survey, that one is on, so it's good to go. So let's go ahead and head back, back again, and we're gonna go ahead and choose that very first one, the survey. And then down at the bottom, we can see that offline mode is already toggled on, which is what we want. Now, if we're out, let's say at a trade show and we're wanting to collect information, or maybe it's at a restaurant and we want to collect that data as people leave, we can go ahead and turn on kiosk mode. Now, before launching kiosk mode, you'll want to go into each one of these because each one is going to give you more information. So we want to set a kiosk lock password. So I can see I already have a password there. It should be one, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's set that password. We can also do touchless, which is nice. So that way, if someone doesn't want to use our mobile device or they want to do it on the go, we can have that QR code so people can scan that and fill it out on their own device. It looks like that's turned on, which is perfect. We have an inactive timeout. I do not want it to time out. We want it to stay on all the time, so that's toggled off. We have the thank you page display. That's gonna display after every one. We have some delay. Five seconds is the best one that I possibly found. You might prefer two or even longer. And then for the visible exit kiosk button, I wanna have that off. I don't want people to exit the kiosk mode without me being there, so we have that off. So let's go ahead and launch the kiosk mode. Now it's gonna show us how to access the exit. We just need to use two fingers and drag down anywhere on the screen, perfect. So we can see right up here at the top, we have that QR code, so if someone wants to do it on the go, they can. We're gonna rate us those stars, and let's say great service, we'll submit. And so we have that timer down at the very bottom, five, four, three, two, one. It's gonna automatically refresh. And you can see that five seconds was a perfect amount of time. Two seconds is really quick. But now we can go ahead and we can fill it out again. Awesome job, submit, perfect. It's gonna go ahead and refresh for us again. Now, the great thing about this is you can be out anywhere. You don't have to have internet in order to access these offline forms, which is the great piece about that. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and use two fingers. We're gonna swipe down. There's that exit kiosk mode. We're gonna put in our one, two, three pin, continue and we are good to go. We can back out. And as you can see under survey, it says no submission because we're in offline mode. So let's go ahead and choose that survey. Even though it says no submissions, we can click on submissions and we can see what has came through. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use mobile forms as offline forms, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.